have you sometimes felt that there was something which was there with you <laughs> or there was somebody who was there with you but now that thing or that person is not there with you anymore have you got that feeling sometimes do you sometimes think that oh there was this man there was this lady once upon a time i used to stay with that person wow we had the most amazing times and then you screwed it <laughs> you screwed it so badly or they screwed it or at the end of the day that person or that job that business partner that relative is not there anymore with us all right so if this has happened with you then you are in the right place <laughs> then this video is for you because today we are going to discuss how ketu cheats us yes 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 i made two videos how rahu cheats us and how rahu loves us so those videos got so many views and lots of positive responses from the side of all of you so then many people requested me that what about ketu sir <laughs> rahu's cheating us he's loving us what what about ketu yes 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 ketu also cheats us sometimes <laughs> so we'll see how ketu cheats us today all right so if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then hopefully after seeing this you might subscribe i will tell you why because <laughs> that's related to this video and if you want a consultation from me and if you are interested to know how ketu can cheat you and where he can cheat you then uh, you may go to my website to book a reading you will find the link to my website in the description section of my videos below okay and before i begin as i always say no that i will say later but before that i want to make another announcement is the webinar on 12 houses on basics of astrology which i have on 6 january many people have registered for it they have uh, paid for the webinar but there are some people who have not sent me their email ids okay so i am repeating once again please if you have registered if you have made the payment but please 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 send me an email by confirming that you have made the payment because i cannot send you the zoom link all right so then later on you may think that where's the webinar okay and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and <laughs> you will find him and he will help you when ketu tries to cheat you all right so recently now before i start i will not be going to any specific houses or any specific zodiac signs okay which means i will not be wasting time speaking on okay my ketu is in second house with venus mars aspected by saturn from some house so how is ketu going to cheat us okay so for that we need to see the whole horoscope it is not advisable to just uh understand that how one of the nine planets is acting on your horoscope just by seeing this video but i can still give a general outlook to what ketu can do sometimes so recently in the month of september and in the first part of october i had visited india i mean i visited in september earlier only but i had visited north india i visited places like vrindavan mathura haridwar and all these places and then my aunt my mother's sister younger sister she also accompanied me and i was also accompanied by manideep sharma who is a very senior correspondent from aaj tak tv channel and we we three were accompanied by his father his father's name is ved ji so ved ji very gracefully accompanied us and we visited all the places so when i visited haridwar the harki pori that bridge that part where we sit and meditate so i was sitting there and i was thinking that this is totally the energy of ketu where you are just sitting and you are meditating where you are thinking what are the things that i have left behind what are the things that i have now and what are the things that might come in the future all the best and the worst case scenarios they were coming to my mind that time i was thinking oh maybe this happens with me then i may come back to india and stay away from germany or maybe if that happens i may shift to guwahati 
or if this does not happen maybe i will stay in germany for rest of eternity or for 5 years or for 10 years but then there was something suddenly and i was like wow <laughs> so then what happened was i was observing my aunt my masi and she was clicking photos and she was kind of enjoying that scene which was there in the gangarti but suddenly what happened was there was something there was kind of a lightning which which came from inside it's not from outside suddenly i thought wow today here she is with me but now she's in f- late 40s okay so i was thinking that there will be one day maybe after 20 years when i visit haridwar she will not be there then i was looking to manideep and i was seeing his father his father is in 60s and then i was thinking today he is there he is in a situation that he can walk yes he has problems a problem in his knees but there will be one day maybe after 10 15 years if i come to haridwar and i call him and say vet ji will you come maybe he says i can't come <laughs> my leg is not allowing me or my aunt she will say i can't and maybe there is one day when i come to haridwar after 30 years or after 40 years if i am alive till that time hopefully <laughs> then maybe i will remember that oh 26th uh, 27th september 2018 i was there and my masi was there with me but she is not there now in this planet after 30 40 years i might think like that or it may happen that after one year all the other three people they come to haridwar and i am not there in this planet that can also happen <laughs> and then they might be thinking wow do you remember those days we were there we f- all four of us we were there in haridwar we went to this shop we were eating chole bhature we were eating rabdi we were doing this we were doing that manideep ji was recording wow what what those days were but i was thinking that one day when i come here maybe none of these people will be there hopefully at least manideep is there <laughs> for very long time hopefully but then who knows what can happen when so yes these things were coming into my mind and then i started going to lucknow where my friend pushpender was there and that time i saw his mother was there and his grandmother was there in lucknow and then i was thinking wow today i am here i have come all the way from germany and i was very fortunate to meet them when they came to know that i know astrology and also they started asking me about their horoscope but the point is maybe after 10 years when i go to lucknow and i visit pushpender's house maybe one of them is not there either the mother or the grandmother i don't know how long they will live but whatever it is then i went to banaras and then i stayed uh, in the home of lady hanemos kalyani ji and then i was seeing that her father was there in the in that evening and he was enlightening all of us myself and pushpender about his experiences about spirituality and life in general he was in his he's in his 60s so he has a lot of experience of life and all this but then when i was eating <laughs> the dinner i was thinking that one day maybe 
I will come to Banaras, but this man will not be there with us. Yes, that that will happen one day. And one day, it will happen that you are watching this video or any other video of mine and I am not there in this planet. Then maybe you will remember this video. Yes, look, he told one day <laughs> that he will not be there because we don't know anything can happen anywhere, anytime. The scriptures say, Padam padam yad vipadam natesham. That sloka is there. Which says that this material world is a danger at every step. It doesn't say it's a danger in high school or 10th or plus 2 or engineering or medical masters, PhD job. It doesn't say that. It says, Padam padam yad vipadam natesham. Every step there is danger. So Ketu sometimes gives us this feeling that everything's good, everything's nice, and it will be the way it is now. Yes, have you felt that feeling sometimes? Wow, life's good, life's great in fact. <laughs> Many people message me, oh, I was having this wonderful job and then one thing I said to my boss and I, I lost it completely. I had this amazing uh, husband or this amazing wife, but now that person is not there with me. So this is how Ketu, he cheats us. He puts us into comfort zone. Yes, that's the word for Ketu, comfort zone. Ketu will tell us, be where you are. Everything will be the way it is. And then one day, and then one day karma strikes and suddenly gone. Everything's finished. You are totally shattered. You are totally, you are finished. You have, you have been ripped apart totally. Yes. And you can't do anything. You are helpless. Have you, f have you felt sometimes? You are, you are doing everything that is, that's possible at your command, but still you can't do anything. <laughs> there are many people, many ladies especially, they message me. Now, men will also feel this, but they will not reveal like this. But many ladies, they message me, they say that I'm so miserable sometimes because of whatever reason that I will catch my pillow and I'll cry for two, three hours continuously sometimes, non-stop. Can you imagine a person crying for three hours? Oh my God. That's like living hell. Why? Oh, because they lost their husband, their husband died or their partner, their boyfriend cheated on them or something of that sort happened and now their lives are totally in ruins. Of course, they may have jobs and other things but that is a very deep scar which is there in their hearts and there are many parents who tell me that, oh, you know, just one year back, my son, my daughter, they were there with me, they were playing with me then suddenly in an accident they passed they are no more with us wow that's how life is one moment happens and everything is finished so ketu can give us this tendency sometimes that we take things for granted all right sometimes we get irritated by people who are there near us yes or we get irritated by somebody who messages us. But then very soon, there may be one day when that person doesn't message us anymore. Sometimes when we see somebody is calling us, then we can think that, oh, why is this person calling me? You know, he's going to waste my time. But then one day, he will never call because he may not be there. Many people who have lost their parents, they tell us that when my mother and my father, they were there with me, I used to talk with them. But I used to be like, yeah, everything is fine. Good. Bye. See you. Yes. And then sometimes from last 10 years, the mobile doesn't ring. 
even if the mobile rings you don't get this message dad calling mom calling brother calling sister calling husband calling wife calling <laughs> yes you will not get that message one day that will happen or one day you may not get any message at all because you only may not be there <laughs> all right so that's how ketu can trap us sometimes that it says that everything the way it is now it will stay like this eternally and that's the trap of ketu so that is how it puts you into that zone where you where you do two things you do not care for your betterment because you are satisfied and the second thing is you take everything cheaply so now at the end of the day if these things have happened with you which i am very sure because you are also a normal human being so many things might have happened in your life so many times you might have taken things or people cheaply and now they are not there with you any time anymore so if these things have happened and if that person is still living he or she is breathing very moment now we can go and sincerely apologize to the person or if that person has done anything wrong to us then we can message that person hey let's get back together let's stay together again i'm not saying of a boyfriend or a girlfriend or i'm not saying get back with your ex i'm not saying that i'm saying anybody that person can be if you have done something wrong <coughs> go and fall at their feet and say i am sorry i don't know <laughs> and if that person has done anything wrong <coughs> tell that person that whatever happened don't tell the stories oh you did this i did this you said that i said that forget it chuck all of this just say to that person whoever he or she is hey i am sorry even if it was that person's mistake you still say i am sorry i will not let's not do this anymore let's not stay away like this because very day uh, one day you might see that uh, the news has come that they have perished and that time you will also not have the opportunity to say sorry and you will die with this burden yes so now you may be sitting and seeing this video with somebody with your father or your mother with your son your daughter or with your friend or with your husband or your wife and suddenly some day you may message me now i am seeing your videos alone because that person is not there so right now whoever is there with you you should learn to value them yes if you don't value them then maybe they will you when you want to value maybe they will not be there with you all right what else can i say that's what i have to say that many times we take people cheaply something somebody says and we completely reject them from our lives which is which is which is not good because everybody is a human being everybody will have flaws everybody will have challenges so if we cannot accept people with their flaws we do not have any right to accept them with their with the positives yes if you want somebody in your life you have to accept them with the negatives also otherwise they will say oh why do you need me <laughs> all right so instead of pretending to everybody that oh you know i never needed this person this person was like this this person was like that no it doesn't work that way <laughs> okay so that's the way how ketu cheats us sometimes so the thrust of this video is not to punish you or harass you by saying this, oh my god ketu will cheat you everybody will die one day that's not the point of this video and the point is that whoever is there with you whatever you have now yes try to improve it 
to the degree it is beyond the reach of your karma and once it goes beyond that you can't do anything but at least you can value them all right otherwise you never know when time comes okay so if you like this video then please share it <laughs> click the thumbs up <laughs> i hope now you have understood why i told you the <laughs> in the beginning you subscribe <laughs> okay and if you want a consultation from me regarding your ketu or rahu or you are interested to know how they will cheat you where they will cheat you then you can go to my website you will find the link to the website in the description section of my videos okay until next time and yes whoever however ketu cheats you always remember whoever is there or not god is always there with you all the time just look to him and <laughs> ketu is not that powerful that he can take god away from you okay there's ketu is not having that much power fortunately <laughs> okay wish you good luck value those things and those people who are there with you near your vicinity right now in your vicinity i mean okay bye bye see you